Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some new drugstore products that I've been loving and things that I've been using like the last month, month and a half that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm also going to include some other affordable launches that actually just launched like this new um, Morphe Glam Bronze collection, I guess it is. I did get a few things on Ulta, so I wanted to share that with you guys as well as some things from ColourPop. This video is just showing some favorites, trying out a couple new things, and just sharing with you what I've been loving recently. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and also hit that post notification bell. That way you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys want to see a lot of hot new drugstore products, then let's just go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to start off with is a new launch, and this is the new Morphe 35G Bronze Goals Palette, and I saw this online and I was really intrigued by it. I did get this, and I'm so excited to try it out because I feel like it looks really beautiful online, and I really love like the color scheme of this collection. We're going to be using this today. It's just basically all bronzy shades, very beautiful, and I really don't have a palette like this, something that is so intense and bronzy, but I'm really excited for this one. This is what we're going to use today. I'm just going to throw away the name sheet and show them to you as we go because if I tried to copy the name sheet, I feel like we'd be here forever. I'm just going to prime my eyes with my regular eyeshadow primer. The first thing we're going to do is just take a regular face powder. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Superstate full coverage powder foundation. This is new. I just need something to set my lid with really quickly. So I'm just going to take this right here. This is in the shade Natural Beige. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. And we're just going to put that on the lid to set it. Because there's not really a light cream shade in here. Or like it's just a lighter shade in general for me to set with. So we're going to do that because if not, you guys know. I'm an oily mess. The first shade we're going to take in the palette is this one right here. And I'm going to use this Morphe M518 brush. Just a nice clean blending brush. And we're going to put this into the crease. As a lot of you know, one of my favorite Morphe palettes is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I actually liked both of her palettes um, before like the mini ones came out. Because I haven't really tried my mini one yet. First palette I think she ever came out with with Morphe. That was one of my favorites, and then the one that she just did not too long ago, or it was probably a while ago, maybe a year. I feel like I lose track of time, but the one that's in the white packaging, that one's one of my favorites too. So ever since trying those palettes, I really liked Morphe eyeshadows. I just don't buy a ton of them just because I don't feel like I need too many palettes. I feel like I have so many. I don't know what happened with myself tan, but I got up on my fingers last night. This is blending pretty well. In my opinion, I really like the color. This is the kind of color that I would use like every day. Just something easy to throw into the crease. And I love bronzy colors. So even though I don't purchase a lot of palettes from Morphe, I think a lot of their palettes are beautiful. They just have so many similar shades. I might have a few similar shades in this. There's just something so aesthetically pleasing about this palette that I just had to buy. I had to buy it. I had to. You guys know I love my bronze looks, so... Next up, we're taking the MAC 217 Classic Brush for me, and we're going to go into kind of loving the colors in this area. So the next shade I'm going to take is this one right here. looks very pigmented, and I'm going to throw this into my crease. So I'm really just going in here and working this out. And we're just not taking it above that first shade that we used. So if you guys follow my vlog channel, I just posted a video sharing that we are moving. And if you guys don't care to follow me on my vlogs or you just don't know where to follow me, vlog channel is definitely the best way to go if you care more about like what's going on behind the scenes, like day-to-day -day life, stuff with the pregnancy, and just like where the hell we're living. So we've been living at Fort Drum for about two years two yeah about two years we are now PCSing to Georgia again which we are from Georgia if you guys don't know and we're so excited because obviously the baby will be born in Georgia we'll be around family um, we're really familiar with Fort Benning in that area that's where Davis is gonna be so we're moving at the end of this month <laughs> so it's like everything that can happen right now is happening right now. I'm so excited, so it's totally worth it. But um, there's a lot going on. So we're moving into a new house. There's just so much going on. So that's what I've been up to. This year has had so much going on. 
it's insane. Obviously, we're so grateful for it. That's the big news. We're moving and I'm pumped. Davis is super pumped too. We're just like ready to get things going. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this color. This is a really pretty shade. It's just a little bit deeper. Let me show you like this. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which we just went in with this one. So this is just a little bit deeper. I'm gonna take a MAC 217 brush. It looks really pigmented. I'm gonna put this in the very outer corner and the very inner corner. Just right in there. Taking it a little bit into the crease as well. I'm gonna do a little bit right there. Then we're going to blend. And what I'm gonna do is take that shade or that brush that we were just using with the previous shade, the darker one that went into the crease, and we're just going to blend everything out. I can't believe I'm already at 22 weeks. We're already over halfway there with this pregnancy, and before you know it, he'll be into this world. Oh my god, I'm gonna be obsessed with him, I already know. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I really want to go in with that kind of green shade, and if I wanna lighten it up a little bit, I'll put this yellow in the middle too. And I'm actually gonna be using a concealer, so today I will be using the e.l.f. concealer, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand, and we're gonna carve out the crease. I just like to make sure it's nice and even. And then I'm gonna go in to the eyeshadow, this one right here, and I'm gonna go directly on top of it. Okay, maybe that doesn't wanna work well with the concealer. So we're just gonna use our fingers for this part because that did not wanna blend. On top of that this is a really pretty color though I'm gonna take this one right here no let's take the yellow because I feel like that'll take away I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow with my finger and just put it right in the center see if it gives it a pop yeah that's really pretty so that's what that looks like and then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other eye I like it I think it looks really pretty it took me a little because of my concealer issue I was having um, but that concealer on its own is really good <laughs> I'm gonna go off camera, apply lashes, come back, and then we will move on to face products. And for lashes, I'm just using, um, I think these are Instaho, I could be wrong, but I'm just reusing some lashes that I have from Batty B. Okay, so now that the lashes are on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Water. So this smells exactly like roses. I love the scent of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. I also got the coconut one. I haven't tried it yet. I found it when I was in Georgia, but I am gonna go ahead and just spray spray this on it really does um, moisturize the skin too. It feels really, really nice. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, which is a really good primer. It is a nice dupe for the Tatcha one. I still like the Tatcha a little bit more, but I think this is a great alternative if you don't want to spend the money on it. So I'm going to put this in between my fingers and apply it to my T-zone. And this really helps smooth everything out and give us a nice poreless finish. So for foundation today, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I really love this one. It looks so good on the skin and it lasts for a really long time. It doesn't accentuate pores, it has really great coverage, and I've been loving this one. So this is the one that I will be using today. I will be mixing the shades 490 and 475. And on my face, and then e.l.f. has come out with a really nice sponge too. Um, I don't know what this is called. I got it not too long ago, but it's a really great sponge. And I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. We're going to even out this skin tone, have everything match my neck and body. I feel like I haven't featured this, I don't think, since the first time I used it. I forget what video that was, but I've still been really enjoying it. There's just so much new stuff coming out that, like, you have to feature all of it, you know what I mean? Eventually, the ones that you've been using nonstop off-camera come back on camera. This is definitely my favorite L'Oreal foundation for sure that I think I've ever tried from them. Like, it was so good. I got these little freebie things from Sephora's um, point reward system. Oh, my God. I got the smallest. There was, like, a Charlotte Tilbury powder thing that you could get. And I swear to you, it was the smallest powder I've ever seen in my life. It was such a joke. 
And I think I wasted like 100 or 200 points on it and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Okay, so for today, I am going to be using the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. I really have been enjoying these. I've been using these a lot, even though we just saw they're not perfect for cut creases. They are really nice on the skin. You don't want to leave these on without blending them for a long period of time because they dry so quickly. So if you highlight your face and things like that, I would recommend to go in and blend out one eye at a time and then to highlight your face and go back into that. Really nice packaging. I love this concealer. So I'm taking this shade, which is medium sand, and I'm also going to add a little bit of, I think it's tan walnut. Blend this out. Could have definitely just gone in with tan walnut today, <laughs> but what's new, right? Taking the butt of this, and I'm just kind of going over it. This is definitely a matte concealer. If you do not like matte concealers, I would not give this a try. But I find that it sits really well on my skin. And it's not like super drying or anything. We're going to take tan walnut and just put this down here, 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 here. And blend that out. Just to even out the face. So this is what everything is looking like. They all look really great together. So that's what the face looks like with everything blended out. Now I am trying a new powder that I have not tried before. I don't believe I've tried this before. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. And um, I believe this is brand new. I have never seen this before. So it does have a little bit of a tint to it. Kind of reminds me of Cody Airspun with how like chunky it is. I love the Photo Focus foundation, so we'll see if I love this. I'm just going to take my sponge, kind of tap some off on my palette, and we're just going to set our face like I normally do. That's giving a nice blurred out finish. It is definitely deepening up the concealer, which I'm okay with because it was pretty light. Sometimes powders will do that. If they have a tint to them, they'll like oxidize. If you really want it nice and highlighted, you could go back in with a highlighting powder, like one that will brighten up underneath the eye, not like a highlighter with shimmer or whatever. Like, look at that. Wow. It looks really good. I think this is going to be my new go-to powder for real. I love powders. And once I find one that I really like, it's very rare that I switch them up. Too Faced actually sent over um, another one of their, I think it's called like Peach Perfect Powder or whatever. I used to be obsessed with it and then I got hooked on the um, Pretty Vulgar one. But I did try out the Peach one again and I still love it. <laughs> it is still a really great powder and I highly recommend checking it out. So for bronzer, I'm going to try out another new bronzer. Um, it's the Morphe Glamma Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. So this is a bronzer brush. I also got this too on Ulta, and this seems like a really nice brush. It has really good weight to it, and it just seems really nice. I don't know how it's going to work for my face. I'm a little nervous. And the color I got is Megastar. It said this was for medium skin tones. Looks a little dark. So I'm a little nervous. I mean, it does come with a really big mirror, so that's nice. I'm just going to use my regular brush for today just to see how this performs before I go in with a huge brush. So we're just using... This is a Morphe brush, too. Ooh, I like that color. Morphe M581. I like it because it's nice and, like, round. Okay, this is something I definitely feel like you can build up to be really intense. Ooh, but this is a nice bronzer. I like how warm it is. It's blending into the skin really well too. Everything's just like sitting really nicely. I am going to take the face and body one and I'm just going to dabble into this and take it down my neck. This is a perfect way to just hit the entire neck and chest area. But so far, I really like this color. It definitely is like a bronzy shade. I don't need to use a lot of it, but I like the outcome of everything. Looking really, we are looking very bronzed and tan right now. So what I'm going to do is actually show you guys and use this Benefit Mega Hula Bronzer. This is huge. Okay, so... I was so excited when I saw this too. So this is the regular size of the Benefit Hula. 
This is a limited edition size. Oh my God, it is ginormous. And it comes with this huge brush, which I'm definitely gonna keep. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so big. So I'm just gonna contour this really quickly with my contour brush. Now I'm gonna move on to blush. I'm just gonna use this Lottie London Blush Crush Powder Blush in, in what? This is in Drake. <laughs> and apply this to my cheeks. Right on the apples. It's a really nice blush. And then we are going to use this highlighter, which I've had in my collection for a little bit. I did like an Ulta haul, and I've had it ever since. It's the Maybelline Nikki Tutorials exclusively at Ulta Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. So looks really pretty. I don't know if this is still out, but I'm finally getting around to using it. I'm just going to take my Anastasia brush. I think it's pretty. I think she made this specifically for people with lighter skin tones because it's definitely pulling more ashy on me. So not my 100% favorite, but if you like the chrome highlighters, which I do like their chrome highlighters, you might really like this if you're more fair. This one's in 250, but I am going to use something different. So I'm going to just go into this Benefit palette and take Cookie. This is a new palette from Benefit. It's really good. Definitely recommend it. And I'm going to just highlight my face with this one. This is so bright and pretty. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick, which I don't have anything new for that. I'm just going to use my regular Catrice Slimatic Brow Pencils and fill these babies in. All right, and then I'm going to finish up my lower lash line. So I'm just going to take, I kind of want a brown eyeliner. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Brown Eyeliner. These are really pigmented. Next, I'm going to take a flat definer brush and going back into my bronze goals palette. I will just go back in with this shade, which is the deepest shade that we used on our eyes. And I'm going to press this up against my lower lash line. Ooh, my skin looks really good up close. Drag mine pretty far down, but you don't have to do that with yours if you're not comfortable doing so. I just like a smoky look, you know. And then I'm going in with a pencil brush. And I'm going to take my first transition shade, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. These eyeshadows really do blend so well. So I'm going in with my favorite bottom lash mascara. It's the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. It's just a tiny long wand and it really does just coat your lashes so well. Your bottom ones, it like doesn't clump them up. It doesn't make them look super dramatic. I'm gonna take the very first shade in the palette right here and I'm gonna highlight underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner. like that kind of matches the highlight on my face which normally I use the highlight on my face but I want to use one of the colors in this palette okay and then moving on to lips because the eyes and face are pretty much done I'm loving the way it looks because I love a bronze look you guys know this I will be showing you guys more of a natural look soon as well because I've been to doing two different natural looks like with different products ones with a powder foundation ones with a product that is like white and then transformed into your skin tone I've just been trying them out a little bit more, and so until I perfect them, I won't show you guys. But for lips, we're actually going to try another affordable brand, which is ColourPop. And they did just recently collab with Zoella. I saw these colors, and I love them. So this is the shade Little One. She also has matching lip lippy pencils. I've never tried uh, ColourPop lippy pencils. So we're going to use hers in the shade Little One. She also came out with another color that's a little bit more mauve in the shade At Me, and it is so pretty. Ooh, that's a pretty true nude. Normally, this is something that I would go in the center of my lips with. It is pretty. I'm not going to go in with this, but I am going to take a darker shade, like a lip liner. I'm going to take this lip liner from um, J Cat Beauty in 216 and just 
kind of deepen out my lips a little bit. All right, guys, so this, oh wait, yeah, this is the final look. I don't have a setting spray from the drugstore, so I'm just going to use my Urban Decay D Slick. I've been using this a lot recently. Remember when I used to hate these? And then the Morphe setting spray. Oh, you could use the Morphe setting spray. That's a really great one. I've just been trying these Urban Decay ones out again. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look with all of these affordable and drugstore products. I'm really impressed. I like a lot of this stuff. I think this one I'm going to have to be careful with. I wonder if they have more shades of this powder because it's in the shade translucent, so I'm not too sure, but I really like the way this whole look turned out. I love the eyeshadows. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Bronzer is really great as well packaging of these is just so pretty all my other favorites that I showed you guys like this L'Oreal foundation is beautiful this wet n wild rose water is so good as well love the elf concealer um, I did finally get a darker shade when I got this order in I got a darker shade in the L'Oreal infallible concealer so be expecting an update on that very soon because I needed to get a darker one to try out but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some things that you wanted to try I highly recommend everything in this video um, unless of course stated otherwise but I didn't really dislike anything I think everything turned out the way it was supposed to we've got an intense glam bronze makeup look and I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your drugstore favorites down below in the comments. You guys know I'm always searching on Ulta. I'm always there just looking, trying to find some new things. And yeah, let me know some of your favorites. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.